Hey guys, Black Sky Survival, and today uh, we're going to do a uh, talk about caches. And this is going to be a two or three part series, depending on how long it takes per vid. We may uh, do it, stretch it out to three vids, but it may only be two. But basically, we're going to talk about in this video introduction to caches and uh, kind of like the recommended use and, and my ideology, ideology behind it. And a, sur a survival cache or cache is basically a uh, set of supplies hidden or stored away to be recovered uh, at a later time in, in the case of an emergency. So, uh, you know, you, you think a lot of time or hear about caches and they're always buried in the ground. It's always, oh, I'll go bury some supplies. Well, caches don't, don't always have to be buried in the ground. And I'm gonna discuss all that. You know, if you've ever seen Jason Bourne uh, in his movie, he goes to a, uh, gets a safety deposit box. He's got a, a pistol, fake identification, passports, currency. And that's a cache, you know, it's, it's a set of supplies that he put back to, to go back and get, you know, annoyingly because he lost his memory, but, you know, also like special operations uh, soldiers, they'll cache items like ammo, food, and water whenever they go on missions uh, because they can't carry it all uh, on their back as much as they need. So they'll cache items to come back to it. Also like on long range reconnaissance patrols, you know, when you're going deep in any territory, you cache, you know, food and water and uh, ammo along the way so you can recover it whenever you need it if you run out. So the uh, caches can be in the ground. I did say, you know, they don't have to be buried, but they can be buried. They can be above ground and they can be on site or off site. And what I mean by that is on site being at your place of residence. Off site or on site also could mean at uh, you know, a place of residence or a place you own, you know, like a uh, storage unit or whatnot. I would also consider that an on-site because you actually have possession of it and it's your property. Uh, off-site cache is in a, another like undisclosed location that you don't own or uh, maybe uh, someone else owns, a friend of yours or whatnot, like putting you know supplies at a friend's house or putting it, uh, just burying it along your bug out route, you know. So, I'm gonna come back to that, but I'm, I'm gonna keep going because all this kind of ties in together. So, where, why do you need caches? Well, I actually believe there's two reasons because I'm not a spy and, and, and I don't need, you know, fake identifications or whatnot. So, for me and I guess the rest of you, really two reasons why we need caches. One being a grid down situation. What I mean by that is like every, something's happened on a local, national, or global scale that has just, you know, been catastrophic to us and, and we have to get away or try to get, get away to the path of, uh, you know, the place that has least resistance or, or whatnot, um, doesn't have immediate danger. So I may put a cache in that sense from my, uh, like on my, from my way home from work to home, that distance in case I have to go by foot or I need to pick up something along the way. Then, uh, going from home to your bug out location, having caches there, you know, ammo, uh, guns, food, water, or gas, you know, cached along the way because gas is, you know, probably a critical thing if you're going to your bug out location. Gas stations may not be down, you may not be able to get gas, they may be out of it. So get gas to get to your destination. So, those kind of all, you know, grid down situation, whereas something bad's happened to everybody and we're all in a panic mode. The other situation where I think a cache would be beneficial is a uh, time where like, I need to get off the grid. Society, everything's normal, except something's happened catastrophic to me that I need to, to get off the grid and, and get undetected or escape and evade. And you know, that could be you're in a foreign country or you know, you've been targeted by someone here that's trying to kill you or capture you, something like that. So you have a set of survival supplies stashed away where you can go off the grid and, and, and make space and survival stuff simple for you instead of going out there trying to do everything by hand or you know primitive methods. So that's uh, gonna sum up that chapter. Uh, the next vid we're gonna talk about things you put in a survival cache and uh, also what kind of containers. So we'll go into that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.